Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878, and today we're going to be talking about one of the new Syndicate primary weapons, specifically the Sinoid Simular. Uh, now this weapon is available from the Cephalon Suda Syndicate for 125,000 standing, and you have to be Mastery Wake. 12 to get it. Uh, now this weapon is very gimmicky. It's uh, you shoot energy orbs, the energy orbs gravitate towards each other. When they meet, they do an AoE proc damage for whatever elements you happen to have equipped onto the weapon. And once you have enough stacked up, they form a small vortex that will suck the enemies into uh, you know the, the area, the black hole area. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use, but the original Simular didn't deal enough damage. It just didn't have the stats to really be a decent weapon. Fun to use, but not, you know, top tier. The Sinoid, however, does. Uh, what the Sinoid has over the original is that it has a slightly higher damage per stack, which is obviously when the spheres uh, meet and collide. That's what they mean by that. Uh, it has a ha faster fire rate, a larger magazine size, and a faster reload. Uh, all of these help it along, but really the clincher that makes the Sinoid uh, usable over the original is the chance to proc Entropy. Entropy is Cephalon Suda's uh, syndicate effect that procs a thousand magnetic damage in an AoE effect uh, when you trigger it by getting enough kills, it also restores your energy by 25% and gives you a 25% boost. Uh, that can be really helpful for uh, casters or really anybody who uses abilities semi-frequently. Uh, now what you're about to see, this is pre-forma, this is uh, what the weapon has to begin with. It's one uh, offensive mod polarity, one uh, defensive mod polarity and one utility. Uh, this build I'm showing you now has one forma and I took the defensive polarity out and I added in an offensive polarity. Uh, now this is obviously uh, not the best build. It's all I could really fit in there with only one forma. So if you want to, you know, <laughs> have all eight mod slots filled, you're going to have to take this a little uh, further. Uh, now, I also did on a couple of these, uh, more uh, the infested clip on this build in particular, it is only ranked 4 of 5 because I couldn't get a higher rank on there. Same thing with Hellfire here. Uh, I just went with a basic build, your Heavy Caliber, your Serration, and your Split Chamber. Uh, heavy Caliber doesn't really, the accuracy on this gun doesn't affect it because the spheres will still gravitate towards each other really well, so the accuracy nerf doesn't actually even affect this gun, which is awesome. Uh, and Split Chamber is very important because it will stack your spheres, uh, it stacks your spheres uh, more efficiently and you can get your vortex going faster because it takes a certain number of spheres to trigger the vortex. Uh, serration, obviously, just pure damage. Uh, I also built uh, primarily for status effect, and uh, because I felt like even at like the 50% roughly that I had this weapon at status chance wise, I still feel like I was proccing status effects very frequently, uh, and that's just because I think it's uh, the AOE effect of when the energy spheres touch. Uh, you know, it procs against a lot of dudes at the same time, and uh, it's, you know, it's it's a it's a pretty awesome weapon to have for that. Uh, so I would highly recommend, you know, if you are put, willing to put more than one forma into it, uh, to focus on status chance, uh, primarily. Uh, as far as fire rate or reload, anything like that, the gun doesn't really need it. Uh, with the bigger clip and the faster reload and fire rate that this gun innately has, uh, because it's the Sinoid, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really need it. I would just buff the damage on this gun as much as humanly possible, because the, the one negative thing I have to say about this weapon 
is that its innate damage type is magnetic, which is really only good against shielded enemies, aka the corpus. Uh, so, which is which is why I'm actually having uh, infested gameplay here. It's still usable against other factions. Uh, now, this isn't top tier enemies. I believe these enemies are only about level 30. So, uh, but there, I mean, I'm melting them. <laughs> you know, I have no trouble at all uh, through the survival. So, you know, it, it's it may not be a uh, a weapon you want to take. You know, 60 to 80 minutes in a tier four uh, tower. You know, against uh, corrupted enemies, but this weapon is a lot of fun, and you definitely want to proc, uh, excuse me, you definitely want to build as much damage as possible on the other elements that you're using, just to make sure that you compensate for that not-so-great uh, magnetic damage that it innately uses. Uh, but that's really uh, all I have to say. Uh, basically, yeah, like I said, you know, the build that I showed you guys uh, was just a starter build. If you guys want to, you know, put more form into this weapon, uh, feel free, obviously. Uh, that, that build was just kind of to, to show you where to go, you know, how to start it. And then, you know, you guys can kind of take it from there. Uh, I feel like I, I have more success with those kind of builds than trying to tell people exactly how they should form their, you know, weapon. I feel like I have far more arguments in the comment section uh, when I do that, so... You know, just kind of a, a, a rough idea, a rough draft of how you should uh, start forming and, and start building this weapon. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, the other three. If you haven't checked out my Rakta Cyrnos or my uh, Sancti Tigris video, I will have them in cards uh, in the... Uh, upper right hand corner of the screen at some point in this uh, some point earlier on in this video and, uh, and we will also be doing the other three syndicate primary weapons those are the ones that I I like significantly less <laughs> I, I figured I'd do the three that I like the most first and then and then finish it up with the uh, the three not so good ones uh, but thank you guys very much for watching I appreciate it uh, please like comment and subscribe it helps me it helps the channel. Uh, but we will see you again next time. Until then, I've been your host of the most, Francois878.